Hello, welcome to me, Ross Alistair Wilson, on my channel, Ross Alistair Wilson. Hello. Uh, it tends to be music, not music, movies that I focus on on this channel. And today, uh, based off the back of movies like The Predator, The Dinosaur One, whatever that one's called, uh, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, maybe even Ghostbusters 2016, uh, the Robocop reboot that happened, whatever year that fucking happened. Uh, the Last Jedi piece of shit. Wank fuck. That's a wank stain of a film. Sorry. Uh, that's five films. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean number. Blah, 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 blah. I haven't actually seen that one, so I can't use that as an example. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There may be more. There may be more. These are franchises. Uh? Franchises of the Conjuring. No. Fast and Furious 27. The Fast and the 27th Furiousness. Um, right, we're in the uh, Infinity War. Avengers Infinity War. Captain Marvel. Ant-Man and the Wasp 2. We're in the age of the franchise, aren't we? Let's be obvious and clear. Everyone knows this. When We are in the age of the blockbuster franchise. There is no such thing as the independent indie movie anymore that does reasonably well that gains a cult following there's no such thing as cult followings anymore i am just blagging at the moment i'm sure there are such things as cult followings but overall the blockbuster franchise blockbuster sorry reigns supreme we know this right on top of that the fact that everything is a blockbuster franchise these days and actors are blockbuster franchises in themselves. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a blockbusting action franchise in himself. Tom Cruise is a franchise in himself. Right? Mission Impossible 6. We're in the age of the blockbusting franchise. Okay? And what is coming along with that is shitness. <laughs> As a word, shitness, crapness, weakness, floppiness, flimsiness, crappiness, crapnoids, bollocksness, flappiness of filmage, right? And so uh, the question I'm asking is what happens next? What happens next? Because, like, it can't go on forever like this. I mean, there has to be a renewal of goodness in films. Like, there has to be a renewal of of some kind of level of quality and sanity and direction in films. Because, uh, pardon my limited knowledge, but a lot of these franchise blockbusters are croutons of film. You know, they just float around in the soup of the film industry. And no, no. They they make the money in the film industry, but they float around in the the as a crouton in the heart of mankind and womankind, humankind. Right? They're just they're nothingness. They're specks of dust floating in the mirage of time. <laughs> you know, they're like this. They're like crumbs of bread sprinkled upon the plate of life. They are not nutritious substance substantial uh you, 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 like full flavored full bodied nu nutritious delicious sumptuous meals of of tasty goodness <laughs> there it's crap we know it's crap surely we know it's crap and the only reason why we show up to these damn fucking films is because we know the franchise, we know the past. It's all based on past success. Like most of these franchises have never matched up to the quality and emotional, intellectual, critical success of the original film. Ghostbusters, Robocop, D Dinosaur World, Jurassic Park. Um, Ah, uh, what's the what's the uh, uh, Star Wars? Star Wars, fuck's sake! Um, oh come on, what's the first one of this um, latest thing? The the predator, 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 predator without the the 
the, 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 no, the predator, just predator, right? So Ghostbusters, the first one, even the sequel to Ghostbusters, the second Ghostbusters 2, did not match up to the original quality. And now we're on like, well, that's only the third iteration of Ghostbusters, but Predator, what's that? So you've had Predator, Predator 2, Predators, AVP, AVP Requiem, and now Predator... Oh, and Alien. Alien franchise as well. Sorry, Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Aliens Mum, um, <laughs> Prometheus is up your ass, and Alien Covenant. Six films in there, apart from the silly ones I injected. Yeah, so we're on, like, iteration to the... X to the power 10 of films, right? And those are only the ones that I'm particularly interested in. There's the Paranormal Activity, number seven, number eight. I don't know what it is. Number 12, who knows? Fast and Furious, I don't give a shit anymore. I tuned out a while ago. Last one I actually watched in the cinema was seven and I missed out a load of them in between. I don't give a shit anymore. It's all bollocks. Um, yeah, so we're, on the, we're in the age of the franchise. As I said, Pirates of the Caribbean, don't even know what fucking number it's on. Seven? Five? Five? Most recent one? <laughs> number five? Soon they're going to be making, like... Uh, what's that one with... The, another one with Johnny Depp. Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland 12. I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen. So, my point is... Um, we're in the age of the franchise. Everything is... There's a diminution... Diminishment of quality long term. Because they start with a strong premise, a good idea, a solid feeling to the franchise. And uh, when things like this began, they weren't in the, they weren't formed as an idea of a franchise. They were formed as an idea of this is a film that we're doing now. This is a film. <laughs> this is the film that we want to make. This is a film. And then they have more demand and they want to create more and they find it's lucrative so they get more money for it and they make merchandise and it just spirals and so on and then it becomes a franchise over time and then what is happening is that the quality of actual mm, intellectual emotional spiritual value um, any sense of of kind of reality or humanity or goodness just quality um, in the films goes down over time. Yet because over time the name of the franchise or the initial idea of the franchise has been around for a long time, more and more people know it, it has a history now, it's gathering a momentum, so it's still there as a collective feeling in our um, kind of collective consciousness. It's, you know, everyone knows about the Predator, everyone knows about Alien or Aliens, um, uh, people know about Ghostbusters, you know, it's there. It kind of hovers there in our ongoing collective sense of media or entertainment. It's like, yeah, we know about it. It's it's common knowledge kind of thing, right? A bit like Lego. Um, so Lego is there as a brand or uh, blah, washing machines. I don't know. Stuff that people know about and so we go to it because it's familiar and it's recognisable and we have a history with it. So we, we kind of have associations, we have fond memories of the original. And so the franchise plays, or the flan franchise mentality of, uh, of the industry, of capitalising on franchise mentality, uh, it's playing upon people's familiarity, people's recognition, people's past history, people's affinity for things that have have gone before and as it goes along it's like making a photocopy then making a photocopy of that photocopy then making a photocopy of that photocopy and over time each one there's a diminishment in quality overall and like for example with this latest predator film and also with the latest jurassic park jurassic world film it's just an incredibly dilute version of the original premise or the original crux the original idea so it's imagine like it's a a giant explosion of color and light and brilliance and wonder and amazingness in whatever first film it is or meaning or goodness or something like that and then over time it just kind of radiates out and it's just dilute and no one cares anymore or it's not that no one cares it's more that the the kernel 
of goodness in that initial thing has become so dilute that the impact that it has on the emotion and the mind and the spirit and the heart of the person who's watching is minimal. But somehow there's a, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a correlation that the longer it goes on, actually it, things are still, things still making money. Maybe some are making more than they used to, some are making less, but they're still going on. So it's weird. These things have a longevity, yet the quality is diminishing over time. So my question is, what's going to happen next? Because I'm hoping that things are going to have gone on for so long that eventually they're going to have to renew themselves because things cannot continue to be poor forever and continue to make money. Because if the quality is poor, eventually people just sign off unless the quality rejuvenates. So you have a, uh, a a situation where if the quality continues to be poor, people will tune out, switch off, not go, not buy, not buy merchandise, not be interested anymore, revert back to just being interested in the past stuff and not the present stuff. So people will switch out, switch off, deny the franchise or let it go, whatever, like, eh, whatever, tune out, like I did with Star Wars for a while. Um, so you will have a case of, because the quality of the, of the ongoing present stuff is getting less and less that people will just disidentify with it and just go like, nah, I don't care anymore. It's not my thing. I'm not a fan of it anymore. I used to be a fan of the old stuff, but I'm not a fan of the new stuff, you know, whatever. I'll wait for something good to come along. So you have that or the quality will suddenly improve and people will switch back into it. So it's like it could go either way. Either the franchise these these long-term franchises will all die and not be rejuvenated because the lifespan has just literally come to an end. So that's it. It's a bit like in with, in with Flynn, Flint. Is that there? Oh man, I'm gonna look at this. In with Flynn, in the Flynns. In like Flynn. Oh man, I wish I had better film knowledge. Sometimes in like Flint. Flynn, in like Flynn, Flynn, movie, oh my god, <laughs> okay, let's leave that alone, it's a bit like a, a poo, no I don't know what it is, it's a bit like the Simpsons, the Simpsons has died, and the quality did not rejuvenate, so the audience ship, the audience membership is down, big time, compared with what it used to be like to begin with. Um, irrespective of, you know, that's a proportional thing um, because obviously TV ratings are different now as compared with when it was in the 80s and 90s when TV was one of the main or the only outlet for visual auditory communications. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is like, what is going to happen next? What is going to happen next with these big franchises? Are they going to die and give way to something new? So they have new blockbuster franchises coming along or new independent one-time only films that are big? Um, or are the series just at a very, very low ebb of their initial presence or their initial premise and their presence is at a low ebb of quality that will then click over, if you like, to the next gear and it will start to uprise again because things come and go. You know, um, uh, a lot of these stories are about monsters. They're the monster story. So you've got Predator, Aliens, Jurassic Park, Ghostbusters even. These are, these are mythical monster type stories. Even we've got the shark thing going on, the Meg, which could be seen as an, a continuation of the Jaws franchise in a way. Um, not obviously not a, an actual one, but a, a, a sort of spiritual successor to that franchise. Again, with a less lessening of quality um, compared with the original Jaws series. But um, yeah, so, so what I'm saying is that we're at a very dilute sense of quality at the moment. There's not much for the mind. There's not much for the emotions. There's not much for the soul to be gained from these things. It'd be like if we were on Godfather, the Godfather 8. <laughs> no, it would just, no. So 
So what I'm asking is, what's going to happen next? There's a question to answer, to answer and to, to wait for, really, and to watch. And, and if you're a part of the film industry, what are you going to do? What, what do you want to do? Do you want to rejuvenate these franchises? Or do you want to make a whole fresh new thing from an original idea that's vastly superior, vastly more intense or coherent than anything that's ever come before? You know, what do you want to do in cinema these days? Um, so, as I say, I think it could go either way. It could go the way of the franchises can just dissolve and we have a nice set of things to look back on. Or, depending on the interest and depending on the creativity of the people involved, there could be a new uprising of these same same initial ideas, so the same franchise, the same kind of universes, um, but with an intensification of the value that was present in the beginning. So it could even be that you get a, a better um, film in the new Jurassic series, in the new, I don't know, Ghostbusters or um, whatever other ones, Alien. You know, it could be that we're all, there's so many of them that are reaching this kind of longevity that they may be either maturing in, into a real ripeness after a period of losing their way, or they may just be not maturing and that it might be their time to fade and to give way to something else like the next generation. So some, for example, some artists, uh, some directors, some creators make their best products or their best works come in their like real later years of their life because of their long-term experience, because of their refining of their sense of quality because of them making so many mistakes and coming to understandings and, and sort of realizing what's truly important to them and truly important to their audience and truly important to whatever, to whatever it is they're creating, that the best works can, not always, but can come towards the end of the lifespan. So we could even have a situation where franchises go out on a bang, for example, and they have the best piece of work that they have, that encapsulates the whole series or is much more um, fruitful than what has gone before and that maybe that more things will come after but never match that particular thing so it's just kind of like what's going to happen what's going to happen because at this point in time the way things stand you've got transformers bumblebee i don't know was it bumblebee one or bumblebee two i don't know i tuned out of transformers fairly early on um so many franchises that have been going for a long period of time, they're almost becoming a bit like TV series. <laughs> uh, long, very long-term TV series is with one episode every two or, or three years or something. But, uh, yeah, so what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? I think it's interesting. We're in a very strange period of time. The quality of films overall, I'm saying overall, not specific to different movies but overall i think is pretty weak and you know it's ugh, what the hell what is this crap it's like popcorn we're just eating film popcorn not nutritious but tasty enough to keep us entertained for a while um so where's the meat there's not many meaty films hmm? or if you're a vegetarian where's the falafel there's not many falafel -y full films. It's just very kind of little bits of lentil, you know. Uh, so I'm interested to see what happens because I feel like we went through a peak. There was a really nice period around 2014-15 where films were going well and then they've really started to dive for a while where I've not been pleased by most of the films that have come out. The best film I've seen all in the past two or three years as Avengers Infinity War. Um, and like other people, some people are going to contest me on that, that. That's not even a good movie, but I enjoyed it. That's probably the most enjoyable, most uh, long lasting um, impression that I have of a film of being something different to everything else I've seen for the fact that the bad guy wins and a load of people die, which I think is great. <laughs> Uh, okay. In a genre where most of the time the good guys win, the ones we're rooting for win. Uh, okay, so whatever. 
it's just a weird time and I hope that whatever the case, whether the franchises die or not, that films are going to be on a on a way up, on the way up. I think that the 2020s, uh, this is a an ongoing and developing feeling that the 2020s is going to be a time of big renewal and of maturing of stuff that's come before, a rejuvenation of previous ideas. Um, it's going to be like the 90s Mark II without some of the lameness of the 90s. It's like a m more mature version of the 90s is what I feel coming along in the 2020s. So you may have some uh, new trends, some new technology even maybe coming out in the 2020s that is um, starts to revolutionize things. The new attitudes, I feel that this is just a sensation or a hope, maybe more of a hope, <laughs> that the 2020s is going to bring more moral openness, um, more heart-based living, more feeling, sh sharing of feelings, um, uh, uh, somewhat less reliance on technology. I feel that there's going to be in the 2020s, as, these are just my predictions, um, in the 2020s, we're going to relax a little bit from our obsession with technology, maybe temporarily, but we're going to relax a little bit from our obsession with technology uh, to focus on the human element of life again, to focus on the moral element of life. So how do we treat each other? How do we behave? How do we interact with our world? Um what are we doing with this technology? We have it, and how are we using it? You know, more of a there's going to be more of a centering on ethicalness, even more so than before, um, because we we've reached certainly in the Western world anyway, we've reached a state of technological saturation that we have everything. Most of our physical, um, biological shelter warmth clothing needs are fulfilled to the point where we are filled up and there's the next level of meaning if you look at uh, abraham maslow's hierarchy of needs we've gone above the level of physical survival we're starting to get above the level of self-esteem needs so we're moving up the chain <sighs> film industry what's going to happen next everything dies and new things create or the things that are still alive become stronger and then die or what what's going to happen what's going to happen what's going to happen hopefully it will get better because things have been shit these franchises are lame they need they need newness in some way bye